okay so here we have this question number 4 which says choose the incorrect ray diagram among the following here we are given these four ray diagrams right now you can only see these three so here in the first ray diagram that is in option number 1 we are given this concave lens and this is a ray that is appearing to pass through this f2 and it becomes parallel to the principal axis which is correct option number 2 says this is a convex lens and this is a ray that is initially parallel to the principal axis and after the refraction it is passing through the focus f2 which is again correct here we have this option number 3 which is totally incorrect as this ray which is passing through f1 this should become parallel to the principal axis after the refraction but in this diagram it is passing through f2 so this is absolutely incorrect option number 4 is again correct passing through this f1 it becomes parallel to the principal axis so in out of these four options we have concluded that option number 3 is incorrect and we need to pick up the incorrect so this is the correct option for this question i hope this is also clear to you now let's quickly move on to the next question so here we have this another question from chapter light that is from mirrors actually this says a thin bar of length f is placed horizontally along the principal axis of a concave mirror of focal length f in such a way that the center of the bar coincides with the center of curvature of the mirror we need to find out the length of image of the bar will be so first of all let's try to see the figure for this question so here as per this question we have a, a concave mirror let us suppose this is a pole this is the focus and this is the center of curvature now as per this question I can say that a bar is placed now as per this question the length of this bar is F such that the center of this bar is lying at the center of curvature so if I just mark here the points the end points of this bar as A and B now this is at the center so what is going to be this length that is going to be f by 2 and this is also going to be f by 2 and this distance of the center of curvature from the pole is 2f and this is that is this half length is f by 2 and the remaining half is also f by 2 now can you find out the image of this end point a so for point a I can simply write down that u is going to be this 2f minus this f by 2 that is 3f by 2 so by applying the mirror formula that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u if I just substitute the values this is a concave mirror so the focal length will be negative 1 by v is minus because we are going to measure this distance opposite to the direction of the incident light so this will be 2 by 3f this 1 by v will be equal to minus 1 by f plus 2 by 3f i can take the lcm as 3f in the numerator there will be 3 plus 2 that is 1 by 3f minus 1 by 3f actually so v will come out to be minus 3 f I can just put it in the separate box now for end B if I try to calculate for and B similarly we can write down that u in this case is going to be see here in this case what is going to be u this will be 2 f plus f by 2 so this will be 2 f plus f by 2 that will be 5 f by 2 and again if I apply the mirror formula that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u this will be minus 1 upon f 1 by v minus 2 by 5 f 1 by v will be equal to minus 1 by f plus 2 by 5 f I can take the LCM as 5 f in the numerator I will be having minus 5 plus 2 and that gives me V as 5 F by 3 minus 5 F by 3 actually 
Now on subtracting these two because in the above we have taken that to be V. So here I am going to take it as V prime that is going to be the image of end point of this given bar. So this is also V prime. Okay. So we have calculated these two now on subtracting these two we will get the length of the image. So on subtracting these two what I am going to get V minus V prime will be minus 3f plus 5f by 3 and that gives me minus 9f plus 5f by 3 that is minus 4f by 3. So here by having a look at the options we can clearly see that option number 1 is the correct option. So I can put it into the separate box. I hope this question is also very clear to you. Now let's move on to the solution for the next question. So here we have this another question, question number 6 which is from work and energy. This says the amount of work done on an object when a constant force of 1 by 10 Newton displaces it by 10 centimeter along the line of action of force. So it is simply based on the formula for the work done that is F into S. Basically it is Fs cos theta as this work done is done by this force which is acting along the line of action of the force. So this will simply be force into displacement. Force is 1 by 10. What is the displacement? That is 10 centimeter. So this will be 10 by 100 meter. And that gives you 1 by 100 joule as the work done. So you can clearly see here that option number 4 is the correct option. I hope this question is again very clear to you. Now let's move on to the next question.